Welcome back to the Delaware Way. Dawn Stans Lamenti in for Larry, my better half. So if you don't believe in miracles, you're about to. Let me introduce to you a wonderful young lady who just graduated high school, although I don't think you're going to believe it, Miracle Olatunji, who's the founder of Opportunity. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. So I can't believe you just graduated high school and you're so poised and you're really the talk of your community with the way you have uh, become an, a young entrepreneur. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. I've been really like fortunate to have opportunities like the Diamond Challenge that really helped me get into entrepreneurship in the first place and really discover that young people have a lot of potential. So, so take me through it. So you, at what point did you realize that you wanted to start getting into this kind of entrepreneurship uh, mm. because a lot of people don't know what the Diamond Challenge is. So oh, can you walk us through the process? Yeah, definitely. So the Diamond Challenge is this international competition. Um, it's actually based out of the University of Delaware. And so through the Diamond Challenge, people in high school, grades 9 to 12, are able to compete and submit their social ventures or their businesses to like get feedback and have access to mentors and they eventually go to this pitch competition in their local communities and then they get to advance on to the final round which takes place at the University of Delaware's campus where people are vying for hundreds of thousands of dollars in venture funding for to move their ventures forward and it's just a really exciting opportunity. So my son is about to go into the ninth grade and I'm okay. sure a lot of people right now are saying wait a minute we want to know how to get our you know, our preteen or teenager just entering high school mm -hmm. involved in this. How do they find this? Yeah. Or how did you find it? So for me, I'm part of my school's entrepreneurship club. So this is one of the things that we kind of spread out to our school, like so other people in our school can participate in it. So thankfully, the Diamond Challenge has ambassadors. I'm actually an ambassador for the Diamond Challenge. So I kind of just like naturally tell people, everyone I know about it, because it's a really great opportunity. So I would encourage your son to definitely do it, even if you're not sure if you're interested in like entrepreneurship. Like for me, I was interested in all things healthcare. Like, Business was like totally out of my realm, but I decided to just explore it and it really like transformed my life and I'm able to like start my own company today. And Which really is fun. amazing. Yeah. So what, tell us about the company that you're starting mm -hmm. and how you're doing that and how you're monetizing it. Yeah. Definitely. So I currently recently just started a company called Opportunity. Opportunity is designing technology solutions that help connect high schools and their students to quality experiential learning, enrichment and employment opportunities. And we say for passion, career and self-discovery. Because like through my personal experiences and for, through talking to hundreds of other high school kids, I have found that opportunities are the ways to let you use to figure out what you want in your life and like your passions and your like perspective careers that you might want to go into and so that's why I'm really passionate about that and currently I recently won the World Series of Entrepreneurship so I got some venture funding and so I'm starting to build out my team so that we can get the web the first product which is the web platform developed in time for the fall um, so that schools can onboard their students so they can begin to access all the wonderful opportunities out there. So you begin, uh, in other words, on the web, reaching out, you have this platform. So mm -hmm. in other words, you can reach out to people. Yeah. And what do you tell them? So we basically tell them, here's all these really great opportunities. And so our motto is like, seize the best opportunities that exist. So we share out all these really great opportunities, but also on the other hand is to create opportunities. So create opportunities that don't exist. So we do that by partnering with different companies and organizations and universities universities too. And actually our first partnership is happening this summer. We partnered with the Creator Institute in DC and we're starting this author program for high school students. And so all the students who go through it in this summer, they'll be published authors by January 2019. They're publishing actual That's books. Huge. That's so, amazing. Yeah. So in other words, you're taking people's dreams mm -hmm. and helping them to plug into something tangible where right. they can actually make money and live mm -hmm. off of this. Yeah, exactly. So the students will like have their books and they'll begin to get royalties on their books and they can sell their books and it's really to open more opportunities for them like speaking engagements and all these other different things that would help them. So uh, can I ask you a little bit about your name? I started oh, out yeah. with saying people <laughs> believe in miracles. Mm -hmm. your, your mom believes in miracles yeah, for sure. when she had you. Is that, tell me a little bit about that yeah. story. So my family is from Nigeria. And so back in Nigeria, when my mom was pregnant with me, um, she was having these premature contractions. And so just at five months of her pregnancy, so you know how a woman is pregnant for nine months. So at just five months of her pregnancy, she was starting to have these contractions as if she was going to give birth. And so the doctors were really alarmed by that. And so they didn't really know what exactly 
needed to do, so they kept her bedridden in the hospital. They're like, okay, you're just going to stay here. The baby might come out, and if the baby comes out, the baby will be severely premature and then die. So that's what they just kept telling her. And when I was born, they were really shocked because they had never seen anything like that before. So it was literally a medical miracle. And so that's kind of how I got my Aww. name. Yeah. You're, you're an inspiration to young people who are teenagers who are insecure and feel like I could never do what she's doing. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that, that you are a role model in that sense? That's, it's such an honor to like hear people say that they look up to me or that I'm their role model. But honestly, I feel like to get to the point of being confident, it's not like a destination. It's like a journey, a continuous journey of being comfortable with yourself. I feel like girls, especially in middle school, is when you start your body starts to change and you start to like you're more prone to get like eating disorders and things like that and have self image issues, which I feel like everyone has gone through. And so it's a continual process of being comfortable with yourself. And I feel like opportunities helps you to discover that because I feel like personally when I discovered my passion for entrepreneurship I became like I've become more confident in myself and everything so I really want to help other people to be able to have that opportunity as well. Oh, what a beautiful message. Thank well you. Miracle is I know you're heading off to college in the mm -hmm. fall to yes. Boston. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure we follow your journey. Oh yeah. I, I, I imagine you're headed for big things. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Here on the Delaware Way Larry Menti will be back next week but for now have a a good one.